And as the first day of school inches closer for many students in St. Charles County, some districts are now reviewing their mask policies as more guidance comes into play. Fox 2 Zara Barker is live in Winsfield tonight where the district's board met and it was a big meeting. Zara. It sure was. Now that meeting is still underway, but already the board has decided to keep masks optional here at the Winsville School District for the upcoming school year that starts in just six days. I cannot go into my senior year in the upcoming week without even trying to stand up in the name of science or what is moral. Multiple Winsville School District students wanted to make their voices heard at the district's Board of Education meeting Wednesday night. I am looking forward to my junior year, but so scared that this year is going to be the same as last year. I want to see things getting back to normal soon, soon and a positive outlook for myself and so many others. Please let us stay mask optional so that we can smile and breathe again. Thank you. <laughs> Students are only a few days away from the new school year and so far masks are still optional in the district. I think they made the right choice. They are giving parents the choice, the freedom, right? That's the definition of freedom for us to choose for our own children what we think is best for our kids, for our families. But that decision isn't sitting well with everyone. Continuing with this new mask policy into the 21-22 school year is reckless. A parent in the district says they're starting to see other schools in the St. Charles area tighten their masking policies as COVID cases rise again, and they say they don't want the same thing to happen here. Looking at the latest data from St. Charles County, Winsville has the highest COVID positivity rate with 14.88%. And it's one of three districts in the county where masks are optional. City of St. Charles is requiring masks and Francis Howell School District recently changed their rules to require masks for kindergarten through sixth graders. Some believe this latest data should change these optional mask rules. I will likely be in the minority of the student body when I come in wearing a mask in accordance with CDC guidelines. But I'd rather wear a mask all day for the entire year than risk having to go virtual again or anything worse happening to my peers. Francis Howell's Board of Education is set to meet tomorrow night. However, I confirm with them today and as of now, they don't plan to make any changes for their mask requirements. They are requiring masks for kindergarten through sixth graders as of now. Live from Winsville tonight, Zara Barker, Fox 2 News.